Hey everybody, it's Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors standing inside the 2020 Keystone Bullet Crossfire 2200 BH. This no slide bunk model gives you a lot of class, features, and comfort, not to mention beautiful style. Let's start right here in the kitchen. Keystone does a great job with their upgraded shaker style cabinets with the brushed nickel fixtures and hidden hinges. Just one of those nice little residential features that you won't find in a lot of campers. Got the double sink here, deep well with the nickel finished high rise faucet here. You got a two burner stove because in this model being a little bit smaller, you won't have the full size uh, burners or oven. But what you lack, you make up in space. Plenty of storage space, not only in the pantry, but also under the cushions here on the dinette. So if you need to put your hiking gear, your hunting gear, your fishing gear, you got plenty of room there to put it in. Plus, this dinette is comfortable. Got the nice campsite, big bay window over there. Plenty of room to do the meals, play the board games, the card games, whatever you want to do with the kids and family. And then we look up here, here's some of your entertainment options there. Cable connection and power outlet there plus the Furion Control Center for your AM, FM radio there, your awning controls as well as the light controls, and more storage with these shaker style cabinets. We move back over here just past the AC controls. This does have a 15,000, or excuse me, 13,500 BTU air conditioner on it. Got USB charging ports right here. 300 pound max capacity on these bunks. Yes, this is a no slide bunk. And Bob, get on in there. There's some storage on the right-hand side back there, plus USB charging ports and regular chargers. And if we look just under the bottom bunk, you got some more storage. So if you wanna throw your hiking backpacks, maybe your boots, your shoes, wet stuff, whatever you wanna put in there, you got plenty of space. Over here, we got panel for the fuses, more pantry space here with the shelves that can come out because you do have a ward there if you want to do some hanging and a six cubic foot stainless steel fridge that runs on both LP and electric. So if you got uh, plenty of room there for the drinks, the meals, the whole nine. And if we take a look down here just past the LP detector, the leak detector, you got the vents inside the cabinetry. Keystone did that so that you won't have soft spots in the floor with this residential vinyl one piece flooring just adds a nice solid feel and fixture to it. We come to the bathroom, no slide once again, but plenty of leg room. I'm sure my toes kind of butt up here a little bit, but with the rays, you can kind of rest them there if you want to. Got storage underneath the sink, right there. A little bit tight with the door open, but that's okay. Sink right here in the uh, vanity. Mirrored medicine cabinet with the two shelves. I'm a big fan of this whitewash look and feel too. It just it has a really nice, light, airy feel to this camper. When I walked in, I was pleasantly surprised. I was like, yeah, it's kind of small, but I got plenty of room. Got a powered vent fan right here. Plenty of elbow room in a single surround shower that has the residential texture and feel to it. And I'm not bumping my knuckles if I need to wash my hair. Plus you got the corner grooves there to put all your soaps, shampoos, whatever you need to store inside the bathroom. We make our way back over to the master and I wanted to show you this. This unit comes with a Murphy bed. So when you're not needing the bed, you just put that up. This folds back in and underneath the Murphy bed, you have a leather jackknife sofa right here. So you can sleep in the Murphy bed or sleep on the jackknife sofa. Or if you got the Murphy bed raised up, you can just push the sofa back up and do some entertaining or just hang with everybody, watch the TV, whatever you want to do. So for a small travel trailer, you could easily sleep two, four, maybe six people in this one, but lightweight, no slide, comfort, luxury, I mean, look at these countertops. Look at that beautiful white. It's got the round edges, all one piece. Just a very nice residential upgraded camping feel to this 2200 bunkhouse unit. We've seen the inside. Let's go check out the outside. 
Okay, so here we are on the outside of the 2020 Keystone Bullet Crossfire 2200 Bunkhouse Travel Trailer. Yes, it's a lot, but it's Keystone. So you're gonna have the fiberglass exteriors with the insulation. You're gonna have the sealed tinted safety glass all the way around. And one of the great features about this unit, the entertaining space along with the campsite kitchen. I am a huge fan of the exterior kitchens. Got the two burner stove right here, which slides in. Got some storage space there, as well as a mini fridge. And all of this buckles in for safety and security while you're traveling. Scissor jacks underneath, and right up above there is the sealed enclosed underbelly. And since we are Gander RV and Outdoors, you can get everything you need for the great outdoors, including, you wanna get a cooler? We got you covered for a cooler. Want a recliner chair? How about a mat? How about whatever you need? That's what we're here for. Because if you want to get outdoors, enjoy it and entertain, you're going to need everything to do so. Just look at the space under this awning with the LED lights, the exterior speakers, no vents on this side, but I got the big campsite window leading into my dinette. So if I had people in there I was talking to, we're out here hanging out, grilling in there, food prepping in there, it just makes for a great experience. And Keystone knew that when they built this. Got the large extended handle. Got the adjustable pitch arms there on the awning. Pass-through storage, which is lit and finished. So if you look right there, and that is true pass-through because you have uh, the same size entryway on both sides. Fiberglass exterior, like I mentioned just a minute ago. Got the rock guard here. Two 20-pound propane tanks. Got your hand crank here. And let's go around this side so we can see the back and the rest of this 2200 bunkhouse model. Right here on the back, you see you got your spray port for your nozzle. We can hook that in. Spare tire, there's the back of your furnace. Got your cable connection there. When we come around here, you'll see, got your amp service right here. Your exterior shower, which these come with a lock. And your fresh water connection and city water connection. So if you want to put those in, just unscrew them, and there you go. So if you've been thinking about, you know what? We want to take some folks out. Maybe it's a guy's weekend. Maybe it's a lady's beach trip. Whatever you want to do. You want to get that upgraded camping experience. Don't need a whole lot of room. Can't really tow an extremely heavy camper. Always consult not only the side panel on any travel trailer that you look to, but always talk to the RV specialist as well, too, and see hey, what can my truck really tow? How heavy is this vehicle when I put all my stuff in it? That's what we're here to do at Gander RV and Outdoors. Plus, since we have all the equipment you need for hunting, fishing, biking, hiking, anything you wanna do outdoors, might as well just make us a one-stop shop for those camping dreams, like sitting down in a recliner and getting ready to take a nap. Let us know, give us some comments down below. What would you like to see what did you like about this camper? What you didn't like about this camper? Where would you take it? What are your dreams of camping? I'm Chris Young for Gander RV and Outdoors. Thank you so much for hanging with me today. I look forward to talking to you again soon. Until then, have a good one. I'm gonna take a nap.